A peculiar people is an odd people. An odd people is a different people. We should be different in the world. We're not Christians. We're not Christians. Christians is a byword. Christians is a fad. Christians is nothing more, you understand, than, than some religious group. But you know what we ought to be called? You know what we were called in the Bible? Children of the Most High. We were called the children of the day. Children of the light. The Lord spoke to me and he told me, he said, son. He said, I want you to go out there and I want you to minister a message of hope. He said, we're in our, not, 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 not sinners. Now, we, we know that sinners are, 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 are hopeless. Even though they feel like, well, they got money, they got women, they got men, they got all of this. But deep down inside there, there's something missing. I've been in sin. I've, I've been out there before. And I, I know with all the money and the stuff that I accumulated, I still felt that something was missing. The Bible said, if in this world only you have hope, then we are all men most miserable. In other words, if it's in this world all you hope for is a house, a car, you understand, a little money, then you're a miserable individual. But the real hope for is the eternal life, to have the peace of mind, the joy divine, the love at last, like the songwriter said, that cannot be passed, the brightest star that shines, and be able to have heaven, what, on your mind, well, see, we're living in an hour of day, that things are not watched now, he said, first natural, then spiritual, what you say, brother preacher, the thing that happens natural is the thing that first thing we see. Don't mean that it's the first thing that happens. It's the first thing that we see. Because see, we got to understand that the things which we see were made by things which do not appear. So that means that it's already done. That's why he said, I heard. He said, Thy kingdom come in earth as it's already done in heaven. He said, Peter, whatever you bind on earth shall have already been bound in heaven. So it's already done. But we got to see it in the natural. Nature teaches us the wisdom and the divine design of God. So you look around today, look at the hopelessness that's in the land. You know, I've been incarcerated, been in prison. I've, I've been around hopeless men. I'm talking about people that don't have a dream, an anticipation, no ambition, nothing because there's nothing to even dream about because they're not going nowhere. They'll never be able to go to the amusement park. They'll never be able to go to the swimming pool. They'll never be able to go Amen. The six flags of Disney World. They'll never be able to go to Paris or London on a foggy day. Never. Because amen, all hope has been taken away. Amen. But the one thing about it, when you see that, is uh, you've never seen hopelessness uh, until you look and go to foreign countries like I've gone to. Uh, and they don't have an anticipation of living in a gated community or driving a Mercedes Benz. I mean, hopelessness. Uh, living in rat infested houses. Uh, taking back and rivers that's, that's, that's infested with floating feces. They got to move the feces out of the way to take a bath. Y'all don't hear me. The same water that people are urinating in. No hope. Living on floors. No windows. No air condition. They don't have an anticipation. There is no amen going to school. There is no kindergarten to 12 and then collegiate. Collegi nothing of the sort. I'm talking about hopeless. No nothing. Well, watch what I'm showing you. Look in the natural, in America. We was the land of hope. We once had a lot of hope. When we would teach our children, go to school, baby. Go to school and get a good education. And we would give them hope because you want to go come out of the, the school and the, either create a job or be able to get a good job. And we were able to talk to them and tell them things about hope and expectation and dreams and goals, but you can't do that now, because when your child looks around and see people with, people with doctorate degrees and master degrees, they can't even get a job, that are standing in the employment line, you understand what I'm saying, people that are sat around that once lived in beautiful homes now, houses are in foreclosure, you cannot tell your child and give them the excitement of going to school like the mama used to teach us, that go to school
anymore. They don't take him at his word because people uh, become hopeless preachers. All they looking for is how big a car they can drive, how much money they can raise. But they're not they're taking the people to another real, another depth in him to let them know that there's another place in God that you can, you can attach the super to your natural. See, we live in a natural world, but there's another realm you can get in that you can attach the super to your natural. The Bible said they that do know that God shall be strong and do exploits. Exploits are supernatural and inhuman feats that a human cannot do on his own. But see, things are happening now. See, then people don't realize God's given the turn to take the time. He's given the turn to table. Things are getting to change. God's given the resurrect our hope. I know preachers that preach to say that the devil wants your faith. The devil don't want your faith. The devil wants something else. He don't want your faith. See, your faith is your bow and arrow. I said your faith is your bow and arrow. But what your, what your hope is, is the target that your faith is shooting at. So guess what? I don't care if you got a bow and arrow. If I can take away the target, you ain't got that to shoot at. See what I'm saying? See, the hope is, see, the way it tells me with this strike, I'm healed. So when I'm shooting, I'm shooting this suffering. I got a hope that I'm healed. When I'm sick, my face says I'm healed. But if I can take away the hope, I'll take away anything you got to shoot at. I got the devil sitting around like I don't care about you coming to church. You're hopeless. You ain't got no dream that ever be nothing in God. All the preachers want you to do bring your tithes and bring your offer. Nobody ever told you that you got to be a witness. That I want to use you. I want to bless you. You understand what God God saved me off the street corner. You understand what I'm saying? He didn't just save me to be a bitch water. He didn't save me to be a water boy. You understand what he saved me to be? He saved me to be a witness. In other words, he said, freely have I, freely have your gift. You receive, now freely go give. In other words, come all ye that labor in a heavenly. Come unto me and I will give you rest. Come. And then after you come and get cleaned up and get delivered, and then he turns around and says, I go ye the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. Shall be saved. No, watch the wisdom here. I'm talking about your hope today. I'm talking about what the devil has done to the church. He robbed us, taking our expectation. The church world, look at us. Look at the way we are today. We just come to church and sat down. That's why many of us don't have a, a reason to live saved. We don't have a reason to clean up now. That's why we sit around and fornicate, commit like we want to go inside the clubs or party. Look at us. Look at the church. I'm not even talking to sinners today. You understand? Because the gospel wasn't even for sinners. It's for the church. The only thing in here for a sinner is repent and believe the gospel of Jesus Christ. But the rest of it is for us. Do you understand? Do you look at us and look how hopeless we are. We done got the church and look what the devil done done. We done whooped us so bad that we accept anything. We Somebody's hope is getting ready to get resurrected. Somebody getting ready to get back to a point where I believe God and I'm going to take him at his wrong will. That's what I'm saying today. Look at all, look at me to come in. We don't have the hope no more. We don't have the expectation. We don't have the expectation, the anticipation like we used to have it. No, we don't. The Bible said these words, he said in 1 John chapter 3, he said, we love it now. Are we the sons of God and it doth not yet appear what we shall be. But when he shall appear, we shall be like in the watch. He said, behold, what manner of love hath the Father bestowed upon us and we shall be called the sons of God. He said, the world don't know us because it didn't know him. He said, but we love it now. Are we the sons of God? And it doth not yet appear what we shall be. But when he shall appear, the watch, when he shall appear, we shall be like him. There used to be a time they used to sing songs. I want to be like Jesus. I want to be like him. So high and holy, yet so meek and lowly. All I want to do is to be like Jesus. But now folk want to be like Michael. They want to be like Bill Gates. They want to be like Donald Trump. They want to be like Beyonce. But there ain't no life in that. I don't care how much money you have. I used to. I, I've been around millionaires. I, I, was the, I was the chaplain for the Denver Broncos. And I've been around millionaires. I've been in houses a block long. No exaggeration. But the wife on one end, the husband on the other. These men playing ball with millions of dollars. Alcoholics. No peace. No nothing. You understand what I'm saying? There was a man that just paid me to just stay in his presence.
Francisco. He felt like if I wasn't there, he would lose his mind. What does it profit a man to gain the whole world and then lose his soul? Life does not consist of the abundance of things that a man possesses. You look around today, look at the world, look at the church. We used to have a mind, God watch this. We used to have a desire to be like Jesus. We had a desire to be like a wild. But we wanted other folk to, to be healed. We wanted other folk to be saved. We wanted other folk to be blessed. Look at us. We used to witness everywhere we went. All at Walmart, all on the bus, all on the trolley. But look at us now. Ain't no home, no prayer. And people are not going on right now. They have no anticipation. But you know, you look at a preacher. I don't care if I never get my name up in lights. It don't matter if I never get my pastor on every billboard in the city. It don't matter. You know what I want? I want my name written in the Lamb's Book of Life. I want it to be recorded. Well done, God, faithful servant. You've been faithful over a few things, General. You've been faithful over a few things, but I'm going to make you master over many. You know what I want? I want to be able to stand before him in peace. I want to be able to behold his face. I want to be able to look at him that day. I want to get in a room with God. Do you understand? Look at the world dying. And we call ourselves saints and call so called Christians. Look at us today. We are far cry. We are a sad example of Christianity today. Do you understand? People look at you. What do they look? What do they see in you? What do they see? They see you coming out the club. They see you drinking, smoking. They see you hugging. They can a pre-marital sex. They see you shacking up. They see you living like the devil. They see you at the porn shop. They see you down at the strip joint. What they see in you. You're the only Jesus that the world is going to ever see. There's some folk in your, your job. There's folks in your neighborhood. There's family members. There's children looking at you. And you don't even understand the dominant effect that is taken on other people because of your life. But you want to play with God. But you know what I'm telling God? My hope is to be like Jesus. I want to walk in the world that the sick can be healed, the dead can be raised, that sinners can be set free from the powers of hell. Look at them today. We set them right now in the church, claiming to be a child of God. Don't have no peace of mind. Don't have nothing. Look at us. Got to drink yourself to sleep. Got to take pills to get up. Pills to make it through the day. Pills to lay down. That ought not to be for a child of God. But the word of God said, I will keep them in perfect peace whose mind is stayed up on me. Do you remember when you was in the church? That when you was living for God, you had such a confidence in him. You had such a confidence in God. You knew God was going to make a way. You were able to quote Psalms 23 with confidence that the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not go. You were able to quote the word that he's a very present help in the time of trouble. You were able with confidence to lift your voice and say the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life and whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked You said the war shall arise and the hope shall encamp against me. In this will I be confident. You used to say that you had a home for God. You said it wasn't the money that I want. It ain't the man or the woman, but this one thing have I desired of the Lord. And that will I seek after. That I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. You used to say up and quote the word that said, Blessed is the male that walk them not in the council of the ungodly. No stand it in the way of the sinner. No sit it in the seat of the scoff. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his law doth he meditate both day and night. He shall be like a tree that's planted by the rivers of waters. That bring forth the stream in the seasons. Whose leaves shall not wither. And whatsoever he do, let shall prosper. You know what I want? I want to be able to tell the devil. I want to that the Lord God is with me. And that goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life. Yeah. 
see you. Because when I see you, I get you discouraged. But I'm looking at you. I'm looking at reports. I'm looking at finances. I'm looking at bills. I'm looking at the hell. But guess what I'm doing? I'm going to recover the sight of the blind. I'm going to recover. I'm going to recover your evil eye. And I'm going to open up your good eye. And you're going to see it like God saw. The Bible said God saw everything. But he and they. Then he said the whole was good. Whatever some of y'all need to do today. You need to put your head on your hip. Let your backbone slip. And tell the devil it's all good. I'm coming out of this thing. I'm telling you this too gon' pass. I got a hope. I got an expectation. That a woman first get pregnant. My daughter-in-law. And my daughter's pregnant. See? And both of them have to tell for the first. Hallelujah.
no more. There's a man that can live with life. My people living like the devil. My people got all kind of attitude. God is slipping and tipping. God they do doing stuff, God. He said, Lord, I said, years ago, the sanctions of the world won't come right before you. I said, my people living in the economy. Sinners don't even want to come to church. Because they see old red at the bars. They see red. Little us stand up.
Sing about us in the dust from the street. 